Every once in a while, something that's not necessarily a good idea works. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Miami, Florida. It's an attempted armed robbery that's a bit of a head scratcher for me. And it's going to teach us important lessons about understanding how armed robberies go down and what an armed robber is doing with their tool, whether they intend to use it as a force multiplier or for intimidation. Number three, it is going to remind us about the fact that sometimes we can do things wrong but still come out ahead, but we still want to think about better solutions to protect ourselves and everyone around us. Just another normal day as this clerk here is going to start ringing this customer out. If you go watch the original with some of the news story, you see he did not have his hood up when he walked in. The guy put his hood up once he was in. And that's a warning sign right here. And he pulls a gun and starts pointing it at the clerk. And the clerk goes into, you know, uh, just shutdown mode. He just throws the thing at him and then just stands there and doesn't do anything. And, and so the guy's not going to get any response from him at all. And rather than, you know, whacking him with the gun or whatever, when he doesn't get his way here, he's just going to grab his bag and run off. And this one's over just like that. Our clerk gets him to go away and the dude runs off with his gun in his hand as he puts it in his pocket and the stuff that he just paid for. Now let's think about some lessons out of this one. Again, if you're paying attention in the store, you saw the guy pull his hood up while he's in the store. And that was a pre-attack indicator that he pulled it up in the store. Now, but our clerk only gets to see it when the guy puts a gun on him. And, and listen, friends, it, especially across the countertop here, taking this gun away from him would be a very difficult thing. So your best bet here is probably just to comply and give him the stuff because it doesn't, you know, it, that's the least chance of angering him into shooting you with this gun. Now, instead, this clerk just sits there and just gives him the stone face. Now, we know it worked for him here, but I want to recognize that if this robber had been angry about that, he could have pistol whipped him, he could have shot the guy. And so I really don't recommend that. Don't just stand there and play stupid because that runs you a big risk of, uh, you know, of angering the guy into hurting you. But thankfully, it worked in this instance. The guy decided that he didn't want anything, he wasn't going to get what he wanted, and so he just walked off. So sometimes even the worst tactics will work for you. However, I think far better opportunity here to either comply if you don't have attitude, skills, and plan, or know how you're going to respond in that moment so that you can effectively end the threat without having to depend on the guy just being willing to walk out. All things considered, not angry at the guy. He did enough to uh, protect himself. But let's think about some better options to cover our ASP.